Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Okay, so today I am replacing my old wore out ultrasonic machine that I cleaned my drill bits in and I'm replacing it with a new one. So the new one I got, I will add to my Amazon store so the link will be down below. I don't know, I just bought one. I needed it, I bought it. Is it good? I don't know. I don't even think it has a tray in it. Like my other one, when I, see that's the problem. It like sticks together. When I open it, I'm able to lift the tray out and get my things. But I don't think there's a tray in this one, which is really, it's kind of fine. There, I just needed to adjust you. It's kind of fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Um, so this is the new one. Let me get it out first. There's a book we don't need. No, we'll, we'll put it in the box. We'll keep it. Like, like a good person. Does that make you a good person? I feel like it does. I'm so good at this. So I am, I was literally just, I have a gel polish open on my desk. I was just starting to do a nail art session with myself. Why can't I talk? I was just sitting down to do some nail art for the Ugly Duckling Nail Art Competition. When I put pressure on myself, it usually doesn't work out very well, so we'll see. It really sucks because I just put all new fluids in my old cleaner, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to have to use tweezers with this to get my stuff out, but I'm okay with that. I have an old pair here. Like this is kind of nice. It's like finger deep. I quite like it. It's cute, it's compact. It's not as, like let's take a look at my old one. So my old one, which I've actually had to leave unplugged because it's winking and blinking and all sorts of things and the stuff that's in it's kind of flammable. So I've been leaving it unplugged except for when I've used it for the past like three days until this one arrived. But here's what happened, okay? So, not that focus. The reason why this looks the way it does, like it'll wipe off, but it's from the cleaning solution that I use to clean my drill bits. This whole piece right here came off, so therefore, like in where the buttons are, it's just all over the place. And what happened initially was there was a little lip here so that you could open it, but this sticks down because of the chemicals. You can see the scratches on it because of the chemicals that I used. So it was locking down and I was like reefing on that. Messed it up. So then after, when I decided that obviously wasn't working for me anymore, I started like pushing on it to unlock it because otherwise it was like welded together and that just killed the end of it. So this is going in the garbage. It is not worth anything to anyone. It is not worth giving away or selling. I'm afraid if it gets plugged in too many more times, it's just gonna light on fire, which could happen. I mean, stuff lights on fire on me all the time. It's, it's actually pretty, it happens a lot to me, so. All right, now this has a white cord, which I really like. My other one had a black cord, black nail dust, you know. I'm gonna get this little area cleaned off and I'm gonna bring you with me so you can see. It's just dusty back here. I wipe it like twice a day, it doesn't really matter. Just around the sink, but the sink is also like right beside my desk, so it's gonna get dusty. And I wish you could find a way to wipe dust off of stuff without it, you know, you know how it never works right when you're trying to wipe dust. It just drags it around. Plug in, really glad it's North American. Didn't really check on that. I do need to find a better way to rinse them because there's no tray in this. I hope that ends up being okay. I'm sure it will be, it's fine. Okay, so that is that. Today is a just medium busy day. I initially wasn't working at all today and then I kind of needed the space for people and then it kind of started filling in. So here we are, this is what we're doing. But I'm gonna work for a minute on that nail art. This is a really big book. 
But yeah, so that's the Ultra Sonic cleaner. I will put that in my Amazon links. I am gonna keep the box for a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. It's um, Thursday, it's Thursday morning. And I am just getting cleaned up after my last appointment. But I wanted to touch base with you guys because I didn't film at all yesterday. I was feeling kind of off. And then last night I realized why as I got like an aura and a big old migraine or silent migraine or it wasn't silent, it hurt, but anyway. But I wanted to update you on what was happening. So today, Jeepers, today I need to make a air nail supply order because I'm almost out of files. I don't know why I didn't order more than what I had last time, but I didn't. So there's that. And uh, yesterday morning when I got here, actually, the police were here. There was a hang up 911 call that was like fake. Or, I don't know, it wasn't from here. Uh, it was 7.30 in the morning. I had just gotten here. I hadn't even drank my coffee yet. And I was like, I didn't call you. It was so weird. So weird. Another thing I've been doing, slowly, because it's taking a while. I've had a YouTube account for, I've had a YouTube channel for quite a while, but I've had a YouTube account for quite a while. And I've been like purging the people that I'm subbed to. Like, if it doesn't serve me anymore, like if it's not something I'm interested in anymore, or if it's like, I, I realized I follow a lot of people that haven't posted in like three years. So I'm unfollowing them or unsubbing from them. And hopefully that's gonna bring up like more of what I wanna watch on my For You page or whatever you wanna call it. I've been slowly doing that. I need to, get dog food, I need to get ink for the printer so I can do <clears throat> last year's taxes. Um, I need to finish up some nail art. Hi, you're a little short. So I need to finish up some, whoa, go back and forth. I need to finish up some nail art. I ordered new trail running shoes because I sprained my ankle on that last trail run that you've seen. The shoe just gave out and over I went. So I've got new shoes coming and they're only coming, I ordered them from, oh my God. I ordered them from Sport Check and they're only coming from Nova Scotia. So I'm so pumped about that because they're already in like the last stop before they get to my house. So it'd be really cool if they showed up today. Not sure if they will, but it'd be really cool if they did. Hey guys, welcome back. I don't even know when the last time I filmed was. I don't know if it was yesterday. I'm not sure, but I gotta show you this. I just went and picked up some lunch. I just literally got sandwich lettuce. Oh, boy. I have to show you this. We have, <laughs> we have this local bake shop and I just went and got a sandwich from them. It's like a, Like it's a monstrosity. Monstrosity. It smells so good. And I got this, which is literally all nostalgia from my childhood in one piece of, you know, those um, peanut butter marshmallow squares. I'm gonna do my best to eat this. And then I basically need to make a decision as to whether I'm going to do nail art or whether I'm going to go home, get the shoes and go for a run. So I guess I'll just keep you posted because as of right now, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat, see what I feel like, and then go from there. Hey guys, I'm all ready to leave. I decided not to do my nails and I had already removed my set that was on. So I'm going to do those this weekend, the beginning of next week. It doesn't really matter to me when I do them, as long as they get done at some point. So Molly is over there hiding in the corner because she knows I'm leaving. She always hides when you're leaving. <sighs> Stresses me out. But I have my vest all packed. Everything's ready to go. Water, I'm wearing high vis again because you know, woods, hunting season. Small tan New Brunswick, you never know where you're gonna get shot around here. Really just wearing like a normal 
like I said, high vis, t-shirt underneath, a long sleeve, I can tie it around my waist if I need to, and the new Saucony Mad River, let me give you a better look, Mad River, Saucony Mad River. So they have space in the treads where you can put screws when it's slippery. I have my socks pulled up like a goofball because mud, ticks, sticks, all the things. Anyway, that's what I've got. The laces are quite long, so I do, I double tied them and then tucked just because I feel like that's always gonna be catching my eye and I'm always gonna be thinking the sock or the shoe is untied. So I tucked them. We'll see if they stay that way. If they don't, it's fine. I'm ready to head out on the trail. 3.17, there's really not much time left, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it. I hope it doesn't get dark in the woods. It gets dark in the woods like way earlier than it gets dark on the in the real world. Anyway, if I keep talking, it's just gonna be later, so I'll see you later. order for the store and that has happened so let's unpack it let's get it priced and get it in the store so so far the stuff that i have unpacked have been abalone shells how beautiful is that gorgeous they are for putting your sage or palo santo in while it burns or after it's burned when it's still hot I have some chime candles, just a little pack of them, and a Sue Coleman 16 month calendar. So I didn't get a lot of calendars yet. I'm not sure about them. I'm not sure. I didn't want to get stuck with them. Uh, yeah, I'm still not sure about the candles, but we're just slowly getting into that. So let's carry on. The next thing I have here is a Divine Feminine Oracle card. They are already marked. So even though they're already marked, I do put a sticker on them because I am a vendor in the store. So it's hard for um, whoever's doing the cash to know who, what belongs to who if they're not marked. So I will be putting a tag on these even though they're already marked on the back. These are really pretty. 